Hello, my name is Vanessa Harryhausen and I'm the daughter of Ray Harryhausen and I've just done this book on Ray Harryhausen, Titan of Cinema. Ray Harryhausen was a stop motion animator and he did all these wonderful creatures. A lot of his films are very well known um, through his being able to bring a lot of these creatures to life on screen. Uh, some of the films are Jason and the Argonauts, a very well known film. Um, Clash of the Titans was the last film, Golden Voyager Sinbad, and many, many others. Well, the old story of, of how Dad got so interested in the um, films was through the film called King Kong, um, and it influenced his whole life. He wanted to know about how the, the creature, the gorilla, was, was made and, and, and done, and that really set the path for his whole career. My father did um, some hard models, but he started off doing sketches and um, then from the sketches to show the actors and the producers, he did wee models. Um, and then if it, the film were okayed by the directors and that, then obviously he would start making these wonderful creatures from armature um, to the latex rubber going on to it and then bringing these extraordinary creatures to life on screen. I was very lucky um, through my life to be able to be on set for a lot of these films um, and uh, see Dad and, and doing his magic on filming on the, on the sets. And it was, it was lovely, you know, I got first hand to see the, the, um, some of the, the um, characters and the actors and, and the storyline really there. So I had been so lucky because I saw it from on the page from him drawing it to the wee models and then to the real um, filming um, of the creatures and the actors and then these wonderful films coming alive on screen and it was just amazing. So I was so lucky to see all this, as I said, from the very, very beginning, from sketches to, as I said before, all, all the way through. So I feel very, very fortunate in my life to have that. I was asked to think about writing a book about my dad and I sort of balked at the idea because I didn't think I would have very much to say from a daughter's point of view because it was a different perspective but um, I was encouraged to, to um, put something together and I guess living with a collection all my life and having all these wonderful creatures around me from very early on, um, I had such a wonderful collection to pick from um, and tell a story. Um, from my point of view, um, with living with a genius like my father. So, um, yeah, I, I, it's a story really from my heart, from my memories and some friends from my dad's, um, their memories and um, some lovely sketches and, and pictures and stories that people haven't um, seen before. So hopefully it will, it will entice the, the new reader to see something a little bit different. As I said before, that um, I lived with this wonderful collection all my life and going through it, there's always a new discovery. Dad was um, great at hiding little things in drawers and cupboards and so it's a discovery every day virtually on, on finding something new. And it's, it's, it's been wonderful and very hard to put this collection together in the book because there were so many choices and, and each film and creature has its own wonderful story. My dad's wishes were um, to keep the collection all together. That's why he set up the foundation, the Ray and Diana Harryhausen Foundation. And it was really for educational basis for young students, children, um, you know, not just for, for, for film people, just for artists and whatever, um, just to give some inspiration. And so he kept this, um, these beautiful um, archive together and uh, so that people could have access and learn um, you know all about different aspects of film art and sculpture the things I learned new about um, going through the archive and, and trying to put this book together was the extraordinary talent from you know doing basic sketches daddy did and then films and then the art side 
I mean, he did oil paintings and he did watercolors and then he did the bronzes. So he was not just what you call your average animator or director. He really had um, a, a talent for doing all this other, other wonderful artwork. For doing this for the first time was terrifying. Um, I didn't know what I was going to do, how I was going to do it. Um, but, you know, as I said before, we've got a lot of, of, of pictures and and um, I, I just slowly put things together. Dad left a huge archive um, of things. I mean, I think it's 50, over 50,000 items of different things. So it was, it was jolly hard to pick and, and choose. And God bless him, he never threw anything out. Um, and uh, it, it was quite hard to try and choose all the stuff that I did already in this book. The um, National Galleries for Scotland thought that it would be a great idea to do a book with the exhibition. They approached us about doing a, a big exhibition and thought it would be nice to do something with it. So that's how I sort of got pulled along into to putting this all together with this book and everything. Um, and they've done a great job and uh, I, I'm very happy with the exhibition and, and how the book's turned out. The, a lot of people ask how, what the connection is between the Scots and the American side is. Um, my mother is, was the great-great-granddaughter of David Livingston, the explorer. So that's where you get the, um, the connection with the Scottish and, and, and sort of the American. And Dad was so in, enthralled with the idea of David Livingston that he actually did a tribute uh, bronze at Blantyre for... Uh, his memory of uh, David Livingston getting attacked by a lion. It's his only big public sculpture that um, he ever did. 2020, um, June the 29th, was um, the centenary of, of my dad. He would have been 100 years old. Um, and really it was to celebrate um, all his achievements in his, in his wonderful life that he's, he's managed to do with his films and art. I felt it was important for it to happen in Scotland because um, the Scottish connection with my mother, um, being the daughter of uh, the great great granddaughter of David Livingstone, the explorer, and um, just because I live up here as well, and um, I just thought it would be great to keep that connection up here. I feel very humbled that anybody would even think about having me shortlisted for this book and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very gracious for that thought and look forward to hearing further what happened. I just would like to say thank you, a big thank you and heart warm gratitude that um, to all the fans out there and uh, anybody that's sort of nominated me for, for this award. Again, I, I, I feel most humbled and thank you for keeping my father's memory alive.